Hunter family, a new Dollar Tree, a brand spanking new, it's his grand opening. I can't believe it. So now there's gonna be four. There you go. Hopefully they have new movies. Here is their movies. Uh, hopefully they're all new. Let's stay. A to the L to the O to the H to the A. Aloha, Goy Hunter family. Welcome to the channel. And also welcome new Goy Hunter family and future Goy Hunter family. Yes, this is the last. Or is it a transitional? A haul because I happen to be going to the pet smart for to get tofu's food he only likes a certain brand and I looked across the way and it said grand opening new Dollar Tree I almost fainted so of course I ran in the store and they had only the restock boxes out, but their restock boxes had some of the new stuff. So I don't know what to call this one. Half restock, half new. Maybe we'll just call it the transitional haul. So technically this could be Dollar Tree restock number 15 and a half. Or no. Uh, let's not get caught up with semantics, right, folks? And, oh, I got a new pillow, as you can see. It keeps sliding. And every time I always forget to do this, I'm going to do it now. If you please choose this, please like. Yeah. Please like the Goy Hunter videos. Please subscribe. We're so close to 705, but it keeps fluctuating the number. And you know, I already told you what the big prizes are for the 705 submission, I mean, subscriber number. A $50 gift certificate to Best Buy, a $20 gift certificate to the Dollar Tree, our favorite, and that whole long box of DVDs and Blu-rays. That's about 25 of them together. Please comment with the password that you'll be hearing at near the end of the video. Yay! And um, when you write the password, just write it with lower... Um, you can do the first letter in uppercase and then lowercase. and Or you can just do it all lowercase, but do not... I repeat, do not put it in uppercases because the random comment picker does not read that. No, it doesn't. Please share. Share the Goy Hunter love. And smash that notification. ting a ling a ling ting a ling a ling 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 bell so you know when the new vid is up and you can watch it. Yay. So let's dive into this Dollar Tree restock transitional new haul video. Haul. Oh, okay, let's go. So the first thing I found was this interesting uh, Blu-ray. I think I found two Blu-rays. Don Cherry's Rock'em Sock'em Hockey number 26 with the little cute little doggy. So I have no idea who Don Cherry is. Maybe you folks know. And this is a 2014. And this is, uh, let's see. Here it is, folks. Rock'em Sock'em 26 is my, with my hand-picked highlights from last season right to the Stanley Cup. Okay, it is hockey. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay, so um, to you hockey fans, 
This is a VBC release. I never seen it. I only found one. Rock'em Sock'em Hockey. The next one I found was a Lego Nexo Night Season 1. Nexo Night Season 1. I just heard something. Oh, I thought it was loose. Uh, this is a Warner Brothers release. And this says the High Tech Kingdom of Nighton is in trouble. Nexo Knights to the rescue. Yay. The next one I found uh, was mini movie six pack uh, from Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2. Here's the back. And this one has Orientation Day, Banana, Panic in the Mailroom, Home Makeover, Puppy, and Training Wheels. Yay! It's a universal release. Ooh, I'm going to do these two together. I was so excited. I found them both Men in Black 1. We already found Men in Black 2 in the other hall. Men in Black 3. Yay! Woo! Uh, they're both... Well, the Men in Black 1 is Amblin because Steven Spielberg uh, was affiliated with the production. And this one is a Sony release. Men in Black 3. And here are the backs. Double whammy good. Double whammy good. Uh, they both have Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. Of course, the first one is a classic. We love the first one. And the third one has Josh Brolin playing the young Tommy Lee Jones. I like this one too. Uh, I like the whole franchise, to be honest with you. So, I was glad to see Men in Black. Yay! Then I found this. I already had the Blu-ray, but I was excited to find the DVD because I love Emily Blunt. Arthur Newman. Arthur Newman. Is that Colin Firth? Wow. This is a good one. Here is the back. This one is a... Uh, I thought this was a... Who released this? It, uh, it's Cinedig released this. And here is the back. And this is divorced, disconnected from his son, and dissatisfied with his love life. Wallace Avery decides to make a radical change. He walks away from his old life forges a new identity, and hits the road as Arthur Newman to start over. It's a cross-country odyssey of self-discovery. Uh, it's a comic romance, so that's good. Arthur Newman. Then I found... Token, Token. Token, to sorry, Token. Ooh, I had to think about it. This is um, a comedy. What do you call that when they take... Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm having a brain fart. Anyway, this one had a beautiful slipcover. This is a parody. There it is. A parody of Taken. I think we had this uh, released a long, long time ago. But I decided to show you because... This one has a slipcover, and it was a beauty. So this one says, Your mother, grandmother, and I are about to be taken. In this spoof, that's the word, of the Taken Action franchise, uh, Brian Miller is an ex-CIA agent now working as a mall security guard. <laughs> that's that is funny. Come on. Um, he keeps finding... His things are being taken from him. His wife, his dog, his daughter's virginity. Oh, this is peachy. Um, so with this help of his ex-CIA elderly mother. Oh, that is fun. Okay. Come on, folks. That's funny. I just read that and I'm, I'm chuckling. And Oh, boy. Then I found this. I think this was in an earlier haul, but 
It's back. The Ugly Truth with Catherine Hagel and Gerard Butler. Another comedy romance. You can never have enough. This is a Sony Pictures relief release. Uh, let's see. They star in this wildly funny battle of the sexes. Uh, a successful morning show producer is looking for a lot in a man. Mike, her obnoxious TV star, knows men only want one thing. Huh. The battle of the sexes is on. The ugly truth. The next one I found. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. I never saw this one. This is an eight film collection thriller binge. Look at that baby. I only found this at this new grand opening. This is a E1 release. So it has apartment 1330. Here's the back. Apartment 1330 insight of oh, here you go. Just take a look. So I was excited to find that because it's a thriller. It doesn't say horror. It says thriller binge. Then I found this baby. It's a Sony Pictures classic. Wild Grass. Wild Grass. Let's see. A constant confounding delight. So this is a psychodrama. Wow. Ouch. Sorry. Uh, I'll need my glasses for this one. It's a Sony release, as I said. A wallet lost and found opens the door slightly to George's and Marguerite's romantic adventure. After finding a red wallet and examining the ID of its owner, it is not a, a simple matter for George to turn into police. I don't know. Oh, this is in French. Um, I just saw that. So this one is subtitled, but it's a Sony Pictures classic. And it sounds interesting about this red wallet jazz. The next one I can't pronounce, but it's another Sony Pictures classic made in Dagum. Dagenham? Dagenham. Here's the back. Oh, this is a good... Let's see. Um, in Dagenham, England, in 1968, in the fight for equal rights, an ordinary woman archives something extraordinary. It's based on a true story. Wow. So it's from the director of Calendar Girls, if you enjoyed that movie. And it is about um, getting women in the workforce back in the 60s. Sony Pictures Classic. I think I only saw this at this grand opening. Then, I love this movie. Call me corny, but Hitch. I love when he gets, he eats the um, shellfish, I believe, or is it shrimp? And he gets that swollen lip and the oh, and he's singing the Earth, Wind, and Fire songs. This is the widescreen edition. Great, great film. It's well to me. This is a Sony release, another uh, comedy. So Will Smith, if you haven't seen this, meet Hitch. He's the greatest matchmaker. Love is his job, and he'll get you the girl of your dreams. In just three easy dates guaranteed. But there's a lot else going on. And my f other favorite is in it. Um, oh my gosh. What's going on with me? Eva Mendez. Sorry. Eva Mendez is in that too. Then I found this interesting. Another Sony Pictures classic, The Damned United, The Damned United. I was just bubbling with joy when I found all these Sony classics. Here's the back. And this is, uh, let's see. It's a BBC and Columbia Pictures. Uh, but of course, Columbia and Sony are together. 
Let's see, from the Academy Award winner, oh boy, the sticker is f covering the synopsis, but um, Michael Sheen is the star, and it looks like it's about, it's an inspiring humorous sports drama and the power of friendship. There you go. That's the basis of this film. The next goodie I found was A Walk With Grace. A Walk With Grace. Uh, the only person I recognize is Stephen Baldwin's name. I believe I knew it. It's Aviva. I can always tell from the back. This looks like an inspiring film. Let's see. A modern day retelling of the prodigal son. Oh, I love that story. A Walk With Grace follows a widowed L.A. businessman uh, after his mother passes the week before Easter. Nate returns to his hometown of, to, in Ohio to sign away his family's factory. I wonder if Stephen Baldwin... No, I think it's the other actor. A Walk With Grace. Oh. Who doesn't like Michael Shannon, right? Right. I think the, we had the Blu-ray before, but now we got the DVD version. Midnight Special. It's a sci-fi. I love it. He's not like us. Ooh, Joel Eddington is in this. Eddingerton, sorry. Ooh, Kirsten Dunst, Sam Shepard, Adam Driver. Wow. This is a Warner Brothers release. And let me get my little glasses. For those of you who have not seen this, Roy's young son, Alton, has mysterious powers con uh, coverted by religious extremists. On the run, the two escape in the night, and as the chase escalates into a, a nationwide manhunt involving the highest levels of government. Maybe it's not a sci-fi film. I'm sorry. Midnight Special. He's not like us. Sounds great. That's a must-watch already. <laughs> then I found this puppy, and I haven't seen anyone pick it up. Mr. Peabody and Sherman, the complete collection. Yay. A universal release. Here's the back. Dun, da, da, da. A beautiful, pristine slip cover. Dun, da, da, da. I was happy. Oh, this includes 91 tail wagging episodes. Dang. Meet Mr. Peabody and Sherman. The complete collection includes all 91 Peabody's pro improbable history episodes from the adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends original animated television series. I didn't get that. Anyway, Mr. Peabody. Yay, yay, yay. Then, okay, this wasn't my favorite, but the martial arts is good. The Dragon Dynasty, Jackie Chan, Robin B. Hood. Robin B. Hood. I know some people are finding it in the new hall. Not the restock. Look at that beautiful slipcover. Woo. That's why I love getting first dibs because you get the best slipcovers. And this one is about martial arts legend Jackie Chan is back with a newborn mix of action and comedy. He plays an acrobatic cat burglar with a knack for getting out of tight spots in hilarious ways. When he gets lured into a fishy plot to kidnap a baby, he'll need to think quickly and move fast. Uh, if you just want a movie with action then, and you don't have to think, you can watch this one. I was excited to find it, though. I was. And then I found this interesting. Uh, IFC presents a decade under the influence. The 70s films that changed everything. I didn't see anybody pick this up yet. This is a docudrama. And let's see. It has a whole bunch of actors and famous directors. And it says in the back. 
The 70s was an extraordinary time of rebellion and of questioning every accepted idea. As political activists, the sexual revolution, the women's movement, and the music revolution co contributed to social unrest across the country, America's cinema witnessed the emergence of a new generation of filmmakers. Wow, this sounds great. So it is a lot of interview footage with um, Robert Altman, Francis Ford Coppola, Cindy Lumot, Roy Schneider, etc. Very good find for all you film buffs. Then I found this baby. The Source. The Source. Here is the back. Um, this was very interesting. This is a story of bringing light into darkness. Uh, this is Travel the Road production. And it's, I think it's a, a the, the Source is a four-part documentary that is an unprecedented look into the global drug trade. Wow. It's a story of unrelenting justice, raw combat, and heart heart and heart trending redemption. This DVD contains over 120 minutes of footage in four episodes. And the drug trafficking is in the jungles of Colombia. Wow, the source. That is some heavy deep stuff right there. Hold on, folks. Then I found Paul Walker running scared. I think I have the Blu-ray. I should. Here's the back. Uh, rest in peace, Paul. And this is a New Line Cinema release. Slick, fast-paced, and brutally shocking, this gritty action here. Struggling mob ham Joey, which is Paul Walker, finds his life turned upside down, turned inside out, when a hot weapon he's in charge of concealing goes missing. I remember this movie. Uh, who else is in it? Oh, Chaz Palminteri. Oh, Vera Farag Farigam. Oh, there I go again. Killing names. Wow. Yes. You know who I'm trying to say? She's the mom in um, Bates Motel. My favorite, too. I'm going to say her name right. Vera Fargama? Ah, close, right? Running scared. That sounds like a good movie. Ooh! And then another Sony Pictures classic. The Class. The Class. Wow. Here is the back. Let's see. This is in French also. So you got to read subtitles for this one if you find it. At a tough inter-school, middle school in Paris, a dedicated teacher named Mr. Martin begins a new term, taking on a class comprised of a melting pot of modern-day French society. He pushes and prods his pupils while striving to gain their respect. Huh. Um, it was in the Cannes Film Festival. The class. That sounds very intriguing. Ooh, I'm coming down to the wire, folks. I guess I found more Blu-rays. Oh, I was so excited when I found The Midnight Man. The Midnight Man. I know a lot of people already found it, but I finally found it after I bought it on eBay, but I'm going to buy it for a dollar. Robert England is in it, and Lynn Shea is in it. Evil Comes at Midnight. It's an IFC release. Oh, let's see. The, on a snowy night, in her grandmother's sprawling mansion, teenager Alex and her best friend, Miles, discover a mysterious box hidden away in the attic. Inside are instructions for the midnight game, an ancient pagan ritual said to summon the player's greatest fears. It all seems like harmless fun, but what they unleash is a terrifying spirit. Ooh, excited to watch that. What? Oh, wow. And then I found this Blu-ray. Not Spider-Man 2, but the amazing Spider-Man 2. 
this is the one starring um oh Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. So I was excited to find this one. I don't I didn't see anybody buy this one. They saw they found the original Spider Man two with Tobey Maguire. Yay. And then I know this is a um this was released before, but this one has a slip cover. Love the Coopers. Alan Arkin. Love can survive anything, even family. And this wow. I couldn't resist showing you this one because it came with this beautiful slip cover. Not even dented. And I went over this before, so I'm not gonna read it again. I don't want to bore you. Then I think this is an old one too. Steep. Steep. Uh, without risk, there is no adventure. This is a, a documentary style Sony Classics picture about a men's... Uh, it's a journey... Nathan Vinton's uh, experience as one of the best skiers in the world. Steep. That sounds really good. Really good. Then I found the Blu-ray version of Barry Monday. I know the DVD I already showed you, but it's, uh, I was excited to find the Blu-ray version for a dollar. Yay. Patrick Wilson's such a great actor. He's so hilarious. Okay, kids, we're coming down to the wire. And then I found Ghost Story. Ghost Story, a BBC release. Uh, the turn of the screw. The dead are not at rest. Here is the back. And now it says, evil comes in many forms. Oh, let's see. Uh, this is, uh, the turn of the screw is vividly brought to life with this adaptation from BBC. Hold on. I don't know why I'm trying to read it. Uh... An inexperienced governess looks after two young orphans in a seemingly quaint country home. Uh, let's see. This, ha, ooh, the home is filled with supernatural apparitions. Ooh, It's up to you if you want to believe it or not. This is a 2015. Now, I only found one of these I with all the Dollar Trees I've been to. Then I found this curious thing. Let's see. This is from uh, the W Summer Slam 2010. Uh, it's a Blu-ray for all you wrestling fans. There's the back. Uh, this is a. I can. I can barely see this. This is a W home WWE home video, and it says a dangerous group of rebellious upstarts. Um, uh, Randy Horton, the championships. So it's a lot of matches are, sh are shot in this. I guess it's the SummerSlam 2010 for all you wrestling fans. I only found this at this grand opening. And the last gem I found that I haven't seen anywhere, Doctor Who Series 7 Part 1. Yay. I already had to take the sticker off so I could show you the beautiful slipcover. I just love collecting these Doctor Who series. So I was ex I have not seen anyone pick this one up. Let's see. I'm not going to read the back because I haven't even kept up with this series. It's so bad. So that was a beautiful surprisingly great haul that I got. I think that's one of my better ones because there was a lot of stuff that I haven't seen and that was at that grand opening. So I'm so happy now I have four Dollar Trees close to my home. Yay. Oh yeah. It's giveaway time. Let me see what I have stored for my baby. Dun, da, da, dun. Here you go. The first one is a digital code to the original Pet Cemetery. 
Yay. The original one. Then I got you four Blu-rays. Uh, three factory sealed. One from my collection. The first one, survey Surveillance. The Lego Batman movie. Noah from my collection. It's kind of beat up the slipcover, but the digital code is in it. And for my collection too, the rear window. Unopened with digital code in it. Another Hitchcock film. Then we have five DVDs all factory sealed. Curveball. Curveball. Lassie. Yes. I think everyone should see the classic Lassie. Ooh. Dino Croc. I did enjoy this. I I admit. Uh, Forget Me Not. I've been meaning to watch it. And from Big Lots, I'm throwing in The Nutty Professor. I love this movie. Okay, folks. That is the giveaway. And let's make the password uh, nutty. N-U-T-T-Y. Like the nutty professor. It's just nutty is the password. So if you'd like to play or participate in the giveaway and win these goodies, all you need to do is write nutty in the comment section. And then watch. And the winner is nutty giveaway. To find out who the lucky winner will be by the random common picker. He does all the picking. Well, folks, we've come to the end of the video. Oh, I had so much fun sharing what I found at that great Dollar Tree because it's the grand opening. So, be it as that may, we're calling this a transition oh, haul. Okay, folks, I'm going to see you very soon. I got more videos to come. I've been buying new releases up the yin-yang. Anyway. Oh, Gore Hunter out. Arrivederci. Ciao. Avida Love and kisses. Love and kisses. Take care of yourself out there. Please be safe. And if you ha if you can just just stay home. That's the safest. And let's see, is this, do I want to say anything else? I can't think of anything. Oh, come on. Um, one more plea to get to that 705. P 705. I need about 10 more subs new subscribers to get to that number. Please. Thanks, folks. Thanks. Thank you guys for all your help. Everyone. So, the Blu-ray Bandit is still pleading with you to please properly wear your mask.